Good morning, Cortland Baptist Church family. Hope you guys are weathering this storm well. Um, this is a tough time to be reading the newspapers and watching the news. We daily hear of more cases, more scenarios. I saw this morning that Williamsburg is one of the nation's hot spots. There's a lot of reason to be concerned, and uh, many people are. And, uh, and yet, as believers, we want to be uh, balancing our concern with a hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Plagues and diseases and illnesses are nothing new to the human experience. Um, and we want to continue to be mindful of people in all sorts of other circumstances, aside from the coronavirus, who are suffering difficulties. In fact, um, you're 170 times more likely to be injured in an accident than from the coronavirus, and many people are. So we want to keep it all in perspective and in balance. At the same time, we want to be mindful that it is a real uh, serious epidemic. And uh, I would just reiterate what the governor is saying. Wash your hands. Stay six feet apart. Don't go out if you don't need to. Um, and uh, keep those basic rules in mind. And yet, on the other hand, we want to be joyful in hope. And um, one of the things I've recommended uh, for each of us is to spend this time in social isolation in the Word of God. And um, one, one admonition I would just continue to give to you all is to read through the Psalms. Read five Psalms a day, and you get through the Psalms in a month. Read five chapters in the Gospels a day, and you'll get through the Gospel in a month. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday, and it's the beginning of Easter week. It's the most important time of the Christian year for churches all across the world. And remarkably, this will be one of those few times in history when churches all across the Western Hemisphere are empty. What a remarkable experience for Christians. And yet the church still exists through the Holy Spirit as the body of Christ, wherever we may be separated. Let me encourage you with the psalm for this day, Psalm 20. Hear the words of the Lord. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O oh Lord, save the king, and may he answer us when we call. <clears throat> you know what a beautiful psalm that reminds us that we can call out to God in our day of trouble, and so we should. And we also are reminded in this psalm that the Lord favors his anointed, and we who are born again are anointed with the Holy Spirit. God is with us. He listens to you. He's around you with his presence. And we are called not to trust in horses or chariots or man-made securities, it's not going to be a therapy. It's not going to be a vaccine. It's not going to be a hospital that saves you. They may be used of the Lord. And certainly we'll want to commend nurses and doctors and healthcare workers for their extreme efforts during this time. But we as Christians want to be clear that our trust, our hope, is in the Lord. One man is taken, another man is left. And that's not a matter of the ventilator. That's a matter of the will of the Lord. And so let's put our hope and our trust in him. Let this be a time of prayer. My admonition for you this coming week, as Easter week begins, would be for you to read five psalms a day in the Bible and five chapters a day in the Gospel of Luke. That'll get you through a good portion of Scripture for Good Friday. And I'd like you to join us live tomorrow at 11 o'clock as we live stream our service on Facebook. And we'll also see if we can get a link on YouTube. 
We're also going to be having uh, devotionals throughout the week, especially Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, as we commend uh, this time of uh, Easter week with uh, Wednesday and then Maundy Thursday, Holy Communion, and then also Good Friday, the death of our Lord. And then, of course, Easter Sunday, we're planning to have a drive-in service, rain or shine. So please uh, keep abreast of uh, updates and news bits. We'll, we'll get that to you. God bless you. Stay strong in the faith. And we hope to see you in your cars on Easter uh, for uh, the celebration of our hope in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let me close in prayer for this day. Father, be with each of us. Show us your ways. Reveal yourself to us in your word. Take away our fears and put firm faith in its place, that we might be a light unto the nations and to our neighbors who are locked in anxiety and who have no hope. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you each and go in peace this day.